Hey everyone, welcome to this video. We're going to cover the open and close morphological operations. These typically occur after you have a black and white image, and then you're using these to kind of grow and shrink certain areas of the image that you're going to use for later classifying maybe what percent of the image they take up or what they even are. To start, this is gonna be best seen with an example. Let me just show you what we're starting with here. And if you've been following along this series, this code should be very familiar to you. I have a whole video on thresholding if you need to review that. But here we're opening up the image, raw image on the left, black and white, excuse me, gray thresh. And on the right, we've got the initial threshold. Now you need to be doing these for some sort of goal. And my goal here is to identify the land masses. So I just wanted to identify these left and right land masses, get rid of the bridge, get rid of all the junk down here, all these weeds and plants that I don't want to see and don't want to count when I'm considering what's land in my picture. So we need to use some morphological operations to do this. We've got an open and we've got a close. The open by definition erodes then dilates and the close dilates and then erodes. If you're really into kind of what that means, go ahead and do doc I am open and then doc I am close and those will give you that documentation, read through it, understand it. The way I think of it is that an open takes all the white pixels that are the size that we specify and we keep them and we make everything else black. A close will look at that shape that we specify and it keeps everything that's the black pixels of that shape and then it makes the rest white. Again, not very intuitive. Let's take a look at an example here. We first need to create a structuring element of the shape, the size that I mentioned here. Here we're doing disks that are 20 pixels and shape. This strel function creates a structuring element, SE, that we can then use in the imclose function on the image with our structuring element. We resave that and then we show it as a pair here in the montage. Let's take a look at what this means. We're doing a close. So the close looks for things that are black of a given size. And we said the disk of 20 pixels. So it's gonna look in the image on the left and any things that were black pixels, the size of a 20 pixel disk will survive. So look in this top left corner. We have some survivors because they had some 20 pixel disks. Throw out the left landmass. Yep, we kind of survived there. A little bit of this patch in the water here. And on the right, we had a few things. A lot didn't survive on the right, though, because we had these little individual white pixels on the inside. Because it wasn't completely black, we lost it. And it became white. On the positive, though, some really good things that came out of this is we completely eliminated the bridge here because none of these had 20 pixel wide black disks and we got rid of almost all the weeds down here, which is phenomenal progress. From here, you guys can tell it's going to be tweaking and turning these dials. Let me show you what the opposite looks like. Let's do an open. Now an open will go through, look for anything that's of white pixels of that size, and then make the rest black. If we run the open, here we see, well, what areas are of the white pixels, 20, 20 pixels disks? The, the sky certainly was a 20 pixel, a bunch of 20 pixel disks in here. So those all survived. And then right under the bridge, we had some things survive. And then some of that initial water also made it through. So this actually wouldn't be a bad estimate of things that aren't sky and things that aren't water. Things to consider. And you can also tweak these values, right? Maybe if I make this a bit smaller and run this again, we get a couple more things surviving. The bridge survives in there. And then we get a bit more water surviving and the bottom right of the image survives as well. But it's all about getting the right values to plug into this. If we go back to trying to get our land masses here, let's start with that close again, kind of reset what we're looking at. And you can do these in series. So I'm going to end up doing a close and then an open and you can do another close. You can do another open. You can do two opens in a row, right? Here, okay. These are doing okay right now with this, but you can see we have too much noise down here. So I'm gonna open up our disk size again to hopefully get rid 
Okay, was able to get rid of things down there. And then I want to do a close and I want to get rid of, let's see, let's do a big clothes because that'll keep these really big regions white, but hopefully we'll get back some regions in here that we lost. So let's do this open on a big disc, maybe 30, and see how that looks. Yeah, that gave us back, you can kind of see from raw here to thresholded to on the right, our final close and then opened or whatever our process was, we were able to keep some of our, our objects here on the right. So not super bad, not super accurate either. These are always going to be give and takes between what you can and can't get. I think the initial left side is looking really well here. We lost the bridge, we lost the crap down south. I wish we kept a bit more, but these plants, if you look in the actual image, we only have a plant right here. So it becomes this kind of thresholded plant and then we lose it completely. And you know what? That's the image we have. We can't create something out of nothing at the end of the day. The last thing you would do here, if you wanted to calculate an actual, you know, percent of land mass that we just found, you'd simply calculate the pixels. So you'd count how many black pixels there are and how many white pixels there are. I'm going to do a separate video on that about generating your stats for a given photo. Go ahead and check that out. The link will be in the description. Thanks for watching this open and close video. Hope you enjoyed the morphological operations and I'll catch you in the next one.